All right, welcome back to LearnWire. I'm excited about this video and this case study that I'm going to start today. And it is going to be an AI niche website case study. Today in this video one, we'll be talking about the plan and we'll be doing the niche selection, okay? So before we jump into this new series of videos, I want to remind you that we are doing a giveaway in the month of May every week on Monday I'll do a new uh, drawing. Uh, you can go and check out yesterday's first video. Um, that is where I show you who won. Um, they still have not claimed their prize yet. So go ahead and check out that video. If you're watching any of this content, go watch that video that says that the you know contest winner or whatever I titled it. So you can come and get your uh, free software. Uh, this week we are giving away a tier three WordCraft um, copy and that will be given away on Monday, May 15th. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment on as many videos that I come out with this week. And each video will give you a um, an additional entry into the to, to winning basically. So if I put out nine, uh, if I put out ten videos this week, then you'll and if you comment on all ten videos, comment, like, and make sure you're subscribed, then you'll have a, a ten uh, entry chance to win. Okay, so let's get started. So. This is going to be an AI niche website case study, and I have the plan. I've kind of mapped it out right here, and you'll be able to see it on your screen, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to do the niche uh, research, and I'm going to be using this really nifty tool called Niche Finder, and I'll show you how you go about using it and finding opportunities. It'll be really, really cool to use this tool and show you. There will be links to all the tools. Uh, I'm basically another reason why I'm putting this together is to show you that you can use all these tools that I make videos on to actually go out and make a website, okay? So we're gonna be using all these tools that I have picked up myself, I've made videos on, and um, a lot of you have picked up these tools. So let's go ahead and use these tools to our advantage, right? So I'm gonna go and get at least 300 keyword ideas um, and that's going to be uh, all these are going to be separate videos because if I did this all in one video take it would probably take about five or six hours um, and I don't know anybody that would actually sit and watch that entire video so if we do this in bite-sized chunks it'll probably be better so we're going to go and we will also do the keyword research and I'll show you kind of how we can reverse engineer a website that we find in niche um, finder and go out and basically they already did the research for us and did the hard work. We're going to go out and of course we'll re um, rewrite the titles and so forth. I'll show you kind of how to do it in a legitimate way, but let them do all the heavy lifting and they've already proven that they can uh, build a site in a particular niche um, with low domain authority and so forth. It's going to be super cool. Um, stick around. I'll go over this real quick. We'll spend another minute on this and then we'll go jump into niche finder and I'll show you how we're going to find a website that we can build this website on. Okay. Um, then we're going to do the site structure and I'll go ahead and show you how I'm going to use probably chat GPT to decide and tell me, help me uh, decide how to create a site structure that we can build content on so we can make sure to uh, build that uh, proper navigation on the website and build that topical authority. And then also I'll show you some really cool tricks um, that I use chat GPT for to assign categories to all my keywords very easily. So we can really build this site faster and easier than ever before with the technology that we have today. Okay. And then we will build the website and we're going to go ahead and build this website using um, a popular uh, theme that has come out in the last year or two from three really popular uh, niche site builders. Um, we've got Carl Broadbent and we've got um, Alex from uh, WordPress Eagle. And then there's another one that is uh, one of the developers. Um, I forgot what his name is. I apologize. I'm sure Alex is watching this video. Um, but anyways, they have developed a really cool uh, WordPress theme. I have one of my sites that's running is um, one of the fastest that I've ever built a website uh, as far as the website speed. So it's very, very fast, uh, very lightweight, but then it's very uh, powerful in what it can do. So I'll be showing that to you guys as well. Then we will um, build our pillar pages, you know, so they'll probably be about uh, between five and 10 pillar pages 
on the site that we need to probably um, take our time depending on we can use Zimrider or Agility or Koala to build this, these pillar pages but they're the ones that you're going to use that extra kind of go that extra mile in the AI process um, uh, in order to make sure that it gets you get some really good content um, and so I'll show you kind of how we do that then what I'm going to do is we're going to assign a hundred articles are going to be built with Zimrider a hundred articles are going to be built with Agility Writer and then a hundred articles are going to be built with Koala okay so we're going to be able to test out my, my three favorite AI writers right now um, they just pack a punch there they all now have the ability to go out and get live results uh, from scraping the top results and getting more factual data in order to create and then also training the AI before it actually writes your content and so those are just uh, that's a really powerful thing to do um, and some of them um, are really good at writing in a way that it just sounds like um, a human is writing it you can choose a first person and it will come up with stories and, um, and similes and things like that that basically um, make it look like you know humans are writing the content which is super cool so I think it'd be cool to test a hundred articles of each and then we will match you know um, all of the different rankings and um, things like that and maybe maybe there'll be a pattern maybe one of them will stand out above the others as far as how fast they get indexed and uh, ranked and so forth maybe all three will perform well you never know but that's why I want to test all three of the, what I believe are the most powerful ones right now and then keyword tracking, I'm going to use SERP robot. So we'll be able to put all the keywords that we're writing in Koala and put those in its own like bin um, or tag, if you will, in SERP robot. So we can easily track um, which uh, tools are bringing us the best results. Okay. So it'll be a really fun case study. I'll go ahead. I won't make a video on the uh, Google Analytics uh, search console. I'll just go ahead and just install that myself. Um, there's plenty of videos that teach you how to do that. Um, it during the process, it might show some sensitive information. So I'm going to probably just not do that process um, on camera, but I think I have done that before in my last niche, uh, niche site build about a year ago. Uh, if you go back in the channel and you want to look at um, another site I built, I think I did show you how to do all that in that video. Okay. So this is what the plan is going to be. So niche research, niche finder, let's go and jump into that real quick. So this is Niche Finder. I think you can pick it up for about a hundred bucks. Uh, it's an LTD, so you only have to pay one time. Um, there will there will be a link below to this software. And currently, right now, when I first bought this a few months back, it only had about eight thousand sites in it. It looks like right now in their um, database of websites they have um, almost 12,000 um, sites in here and some of them um, I found um, are you know kind of anomalies or they they you kind of just um, kind of ignore them um, if you will because if you come in here and you just look at uh, traffic let's say um, if we come in here and look at just traffic and then we go into domain authority I'm just gonna put 20 there um, you'll see some of these um, over here like Weebly sites and things like that I, I don't think I would really base a whole lot of my work based on tumblr sites and dot uh, wordpress.com sites these are all free websites right there um, I probably wouldn't use these as a, a professional site to go after okay so um, I just wanted to point that one out. So there's going to be some in here that uh, I don't know if they intentionally put those into the network or not, but I would just go ahead and ignore uh, the weebly.coms and the tumblers and the wordpress.com sites. Okay. Uh, there's not too many. It's not too bad. Uh, I just put this example up here because it's usually like a ton of traffic, 10 million right there and a low domain authority. And, you know, it just doesn't make any sense and it's on a free, a free domain. So those are the ones that I ignore, but I think that, that that's most of them right there there's only a few okay so what I'll do is I'll research uh, I'll reset this and I'll show you kind of what I like to do in here is if you're looking for a different uh, specific niche right here so if I was just gonna look for a tennis I would just type in tennis there's 17 sites in here that you could go and research and model after if you wanted to if you wanted to look at sports you'd go over to niche and you'd say sport and you'd see team sports and water sports and individual sports and you would see uh, uh, 232 websites in here that are sport related okay so that's kind of how you would use the difference between keywords and niche but what I really like to do is come in here and just go with domain authority and just put like a 15 in here okay and then you can come in here and go with I don't want anything that has less than um, 5,000 searches per month 
And so we're looking at 200 results right off the bat. And then you can just start going in here and looking at different things that you find in here. So you can look like, look at that. If you just absolutely have no idea what you want to go into, if you kind of have an idea, then maybe you would go in here and you would say garden. And we have um, some in here that we can go and look at. And so when I type in garden right here and we're looking at uh, domain authorities that should be really easy to replicate because they're low domain authorities, I'm going to look at anything that's get standing out on traffic right here. And there's one right here that's standing out big time, 162,000. They're, um, uh, they're on the Mediavine network. They've only got 12 domain authority. Um, and they've got uh, about 206 indexed pages. So this, and it's only one year old, so it's kind of checking all the boxes. And you would think that in today's age that you would not be able to build a site about gardening within the last year and get that much tra traffic. So uh, we then would take this and we would click on it. Okay, I'll show you what niche finder can do. It, it's, it gets even more powerful because now you can go in here and it's going to find all these different um, competitors in here. We could come in here and go and click on any one of these sites and go and do some reverse engineering and check out some of the stuff right there. Like it's already given you all the sites that we can go out and get additional keywords from if we wanted to. Okay, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go in and uh, we've got the keyword research in the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and select this right here. We can actually click on that and it will open up the site. I'll see if some, something in similar web, similar web really is measuring this at 207,000. So this site has really taken off and you can see that there's ads all over the site right here. And then also I'll come over here. There's gardening. It's really easy to navigate where you want to go indoor, outdoor. So this is a big site. They're not just doing indoor or outdoor. They're doing both. They're really going after it and they're going over gardening basics right here. They do have the cookie notice right here. Um, so I need to try to remember to put that on this new site. And then also they have product reviews. So we already know that they're making money off of the ads, but when we come in here to product, product reviews and buyer's guides right here, you'll see that there's just all kinds of stuff. Here is, um, let's see if they have any right here, garden, um, tutors, pH test strips review. We can click on that. This just came out a couple months ago and you'll be able to go in here and see um, sometimes I like to just highlight this um, and I really love this tool because a uh, word counter plus I'm able to just see what the word count is on any page only 1500 words not bad at all our AI can easily write that for us looks like that they've got an email list going on right here as well um, and then if we went down here they've got their interlinking going on so we're going to have to do some internal links as well. Um, it looks like they uh, they probably are doing some what seems like they're doing some real pictures and stuff. So that's pretty legitimate that that will be a little bit hard to compete with if they are taking their actual pictures and doing this themselves. Um, but we're still going to build the entire site with AI. I think overall they um, I'm just trying to see where the affiliate link is on this one. Uh, yeah, if you hover over this, you'll see at the very bottom left of the screen. Um, the amzn.to. So this is a Amazon link. I'll go ahead and just click it and open it up. Um, you'll see that they do have an Amazon link over here selling this $12, $13 product. Um, so this is an Amazon uh, affiliate site as well as um, ads. So a good old classic um, website that is built um, for, with the intention of making money. So this will be great to model after. So next in the next video, you definitely want to subscribe, um, like the video, make sure to comment so you can be in the running to get this week's uh, free software. And also more importantly, so you can follow along with this journey of me building this site. And we'll see over the next um, several months if we can get anything, any traffic at all, any rankings. Um, and the next video, we are going to be talking about how we're going to reverse engineer this site. I'll show you what tool I'm going to use as well for this. And then also um, the uh, getting the keyword ideas. And um, uh, there's going to be some ways that I'm going to use ChatGPT to help us um, speed through that process as well. So we're going to use a couple different tools. The next video is going to be a lot of fun. So make sure to subscribe. All right. I'll see you guys next in the next video.